is Kathy, and I have another cooking show. So happy Thursday, happy Fourth of July. Um, what are you guys gonna do today? This is pre-recorded, so it's late at night right now, but it's gonna be uploaded today on Fourth of July. I am probably going to be going shopping. My son does not like firework. He does not care for firework. He doesn't like, he doesn't even like those pop pop that you throw on the floor. So we won't be doing any firework, but uh, we are closed. The restaurant is closed. So we will be staying home, enjoying 4th of July. So let me just um, say happy 4th of July to everybody. I hope you guys stay safe. If you remember, if you drink, please do not drive, have a designated driver. Call an Uber, call a taxi, call a Lyft, whatever you have to do, call someone. But just please don't drink and drive. Be safe out there and have fun. Stay stay safe. Be with your family. Uh, remember what today is about. And yeah, um, so enough about that. But yeah, I'm probably just going to be going to Waikele Shopping Center. It's an um, outlet mall here on the island. Uh, if I get anything, I'll probably do a, a haul, a clothing haul, but I'll do a little filming of what the outlet looked like too. But right now, we're just going to talk about food, cooking. You ever, usually I cook at really at night because that's when my husband get really hungry because I, my eating lifestyle or habit is that I don't eat past um, a certain hours. And if right now it's 10 o'clock at night, so I usually do not eat right now. But my husband, he eats all the time, like all the time. This man can put away food like nobody's business, but then he does go to the gym so much. Like he loves going to the gym, I feel like. So with that being said, I do tend to cook healthy food at night. But sometimes I'm just so lazy and there's nothing to cook. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to make ramen. Packaged ramen noodles. Uh, the brand that I always like is Mama. That's my favorite brand of ramen to use. They have many flavor. But this one is the Oriental style. Uh, what Which flavor is this? I believe it's the duck one. Yes. So it's the ramen instant noodle artificial duck flavor. I know it's not the best, it's not the healthiest. Um, there is healthier things out there to eat, but sometimes these are delicious. I remember like a lot of time, this is what put a lot of people through college. This is what you eat. But I don't, I do spice mine up a little bit and I don't make them in a microwave. That's a no-no for me. I do not make my ramen in a microwave. So, so what you're gonna need today is you're gonna need two cups of water. And that's what I have right here. It's about two cups of water for one package because I like mine to be more soupy. You're going to want um, a pot. You're going to want a frying pan. I'll tell you why in a minute. And then for other ingredient, I have... I just put it all over here. I have some white onion, green onion, meatball. This is... Asian meatballs that you can find in the Asian section in the, like, the refrigerator. Some shrimp, some uh, cilantro or Chinese parsley. You're going to want two eggs. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with the eggs in a minute. Some dry chili uh, paste if you want it spicy. Some, uh, what is this? Ground chili with fried garlic. This is saute, also found in the Asian section. Um, in and some squid brand fish sauce. I know my bottle is kind of nasty, but yeah, it's okay. And also some green leaf lettuce. Although it's unhealthy, we still want to be some sort of healthy. And I also have some leftover steak from the other night that I'm warming up in the toaster oven right now. And of course, one package of whatever brand of ramen, packaged ramen you like. So I, like I said, I usually like mine to be um, the Mama brand. So we're going to turn on the pot, this one right here, on high. We're going to dump in our water. And we're going to bring that to a boil. Um, 
I'm gonna open up this package while the water is not boiled yet anyway. And there's these little seasoning inside. We're gonna use them. They're not the best for you, but hey, sometimes it's okay. Sometimes not, I would not recommend eating this every day. It's not, it's not something I would recommend eating every day, but once in a while it's good. So this package has the oily thing in there. This package has the, like the salt, the, the seasoning, the salty seasoning in there. I'm gonna use the whole thing. And that's why I use two cups of water because I like to dilute mine. I don't want mine to be, um, the noodle is not gonna, I don't wanna be more noodle than a soup. I rather have more soup than noodles. Plus we're gonna add all the extra other ingredient in there as well. And I do not use a microwave. That's why I don't like mine. It's not instant, I guess, because you know, you still have to do all this other stuff. Now, we're gonna let that thing boil. Now, while I'm waiting for that pot to boil, I'm gonna turn my attention to... Oh, sorry guys, so sorry. I'm gonna turn my attention to this pan right here. I'm gonna turn that one on high as well. It's a small little frying pan, small one. And I'm gonna put some extra virgin olive oil inside. Just a tiny bit. And that is going to, I'm gonna heat that up for a little bit and then we're gonna fry an egg in there. So just make sure that that oil is coating the whole pan. So that, while that is boiling a little bit, it's almost coming to a boil, I'm gonna add the first egg into this one. Let's do its thing. I'm also going to add my meatball in there. The meatball is already cooked, so you don't have to worry about like, you know, but we did, we have to warm it up. I'm also going to throw in the shrimp. Usually with shrimp, i rather get raw shrimp than cooked shrimp because I feel like raw shrimp has more flavor. And you totally can buy the big bulk at, let's say at Costco or Sam's Club. They, you can buy the whole thing, the big bulk, and you can um, divide it, you know, thaw, un thaw it, divide it up into a small Ziploc bag and put it in the freezer. And when you need it, you can just take out that individual one because that way it's be cheaper and more, I think it's more efficient and it tastes better to buy than buying cooked shrimp. And that's just my opinion. So we're gonna, that's coming to a boil. We're gonna let that boil a little bit more. Then that is hot. I'm going to crack one. And yeah, that's pretty hot. And then I'm gonna mix that into a sunny side egg. Now you, as you can see, that's really boiling. We're gonna drop in our noodles. I find that with this brand, the duck one, it takes a little bit longer. I do not like my noodle to be super overcooked, but it's not the, you have to cook it for a little while for this one. Now with my style of cooking is if you don't like a certain thing, you don't have to put it in. Um, you don't like um, eggs, don't put in eggs. If you don't like meatballs, don't put in meatballs. If you have chicken, Leftover chicken from the other day, you have leftover uh, pork, whatever you have, you totally can add it in here. If you don't like certain onions or certain vegetable, or if you like certain vegetable, put it in there. Now this is the time I'm going to add a little bit of fish sauce just for extra flavoring. Not too much. If you don't like fish sauce either, don't need to put fish sauce. A little hot pepper. I love hot food. Also, a little bit of the fried garlic paste.
just a little bit. You don't want too much. That egg on the inside is cooking. That's good. I'm gonna take it off the stove. You can see. Perfect. Turn off the heat for that one. This one is also good. We're also gonna turn off the heat for this one. Okay, so now we're gonna plate. We're gonna pour this into the bowl that we used earlier. Careful. I don't want to make such a big mess. You can see we have usually, I go faster if I'm not recording. So that would not be um, as cooked. That will be almost like a medium. But that's okay, because I think I used my chopstick and I poked it. I broke it. Now, I'm going to put the onions in. To one side. I like the taste of onions um, when it's not super cooked. Cilantro. All of it. And green onions. Boom. And then the lettuce. I'm gonna break up, up into bite size. This is green leaf lettuce. Um, that's mostly the kind of lettuce that I like to eat the most is green leaf lettuce. I know you're thinking lettuce and Simon. It tastes really good, trust me. And it looks a lot, right? It looks crazy full, but it's going to wilt down to almost nothing. If you know that about vegetable, it always wilt down to almost nothing when the soup, the hot soup gets to it. And then remember that fried egg right on top. So now that is dinner or lunch or whatever you want to call, like whatever you're in the mood for. But usually the only time that I eat Simon is really, really, really late at night. Like I'm talking about really late at night where there's nothing else available to eat. That's when I'm going to eat Simon. And this is my instant ramen package. It's really, really delicious. Um, Unhealthy delicious. Oh, see, I almost forgot. Oh, and I almost forgot. See, I had this leftovers. So I also will put in the steak as well. So there's meatball. There's. So I almost forgot to put in the steak that I made um, the other night. Um, that's the leftover of it. And so there is a variety of things in here uh, this is how I like to eat my instant ramen bowl this is a healthier version of an unhealthy dish because I don't think this is instant ramen is not the healthiest thing to eat but I think this looks pretty bomb don't you all right thanks guys have a happy 4th of July and happy eating stay safe yes bye until next time happy eating bye